Hey everybody, we're back, surf fishing New Smyrna Beach. Today looks pretty rough. Low tide is in about 30 minutes, and if the surf is this rough at low tide, it's gonna get huge come high tide. We're gonna try to get some cut bait and fish for the bluefish or the sharks, but I can already tell it's gonna be a tough day, but we just gotta make it happen. Well, we've been here over an hour. It's about 30 minutes past low tide. And you can see the surf is nasty. And there's also current out there. I got a four and a half ounce spider weight with the double six oh bluefish rig. Today is gonna be really tough. Her bait rod has no action. And in these kind of conditions, this time of the year, the fish bites really aren't going to cut it. This might be a day that you'd be better off with some shrimp, too. So I got the BG 5000 on the 8-foot Terramar, which is a made-to-catch 100-pound tarpon. I think I'm going to use that for the sharks with the, my second BG 8000 this year. We just had a bite on it. And if the, if the bluefish are here, this will be a good outfit. We can catch them. I got an eight foot liter, a 80 pound mono with an FG knot, and I want to see how it cast. So it's kind of a test today. You can see that rod has a lot of guides on it. So I can't use my regular twisty thing. It won't cast that well. She's actually got something. Wow. Okay. Here we go. Wow, finally. It's been close to an hour and a half. Okay, now we're in business. I just put mullet on that. I'll keep that on there and throw it out while I cut this thing up and keep the seagulls away from grabbing our little bag of stuff. All right, uh, dig a little trench with your foot when you throw him up there so the seagulls don't take it. I'm gonna throw that rod out. Okay, he got one. Little fish. Okay, a little, little blue fish on the top hook with that had a little piece of whiting on it. He didn't want the finger mullet. So All we right. were fixing a move that looked like a little cut was deeper down there. I guess we're just gonna sit where we're at. I'm okay. gonna keep him just in okay. case. Well, I guess they're starting to bite. And, wow, it looked like it was gonna be a terrible day. So those are the perfect size whiting for the bluefish. I don't think I'm gonna put the shark rod out, but I did bring it. So I think uh, we're gonna be catching some fish today. I'm gonna move the bluefish rod closer together. We gotta make sure the giant seagulls don't grab our fish and fly off with them. All right, I'm gonna throw the bluefish rig with uh, both whiting pieces. Okay, the action's picking up here a little bit. She just missed one on her whiting rod, bait rod. And we're getting a bite on the Terramar. So now we got that second whiting and I kept the one bluefish as reserve. Uh, we're staying today. We're probably gonna be here all day. I might put a shark rig on the Terramar when high tide gets here. I don't know if she has it or not. What do you think? Terramore rod, that's the second one now. You 
guys seen us catch a lot of bluefish, these last two, those are really small. But it doesn't matter, they count. And hey, bite on that one too. If she's getting a whiting on the fish bites and then the bluefish, and we ain't even started yet with bluefish, wow. She's gonna be running around today. So the fish bites are working the day and the cut bait. What has she got? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Pompano. I knew it was a bigger one. Wow. We don't target these, but she catches them. Okay, she got a little pompano. I don't think he's a keeper, but we don't keep him anyway, and we don't use him for bait. So, that's good. How big is it? He's probably 11 to the fork. He might be a keeper. Right. I think it's 10 and a half to the fork or 11 to the fork, but we're not keeping it anyway, no, so. No, okay, good. I got news for you. When she catches something different like that, or a black drum, or a sheephead, or something like that, or a little red fish, she is gonna be on that bait rod and really won't care about the bluefish rod the rest of the day. Okay, good job. He's on? That's a hit. Your second bluefish, right? Second. Okay. He hooked himself. I was just getting ready to throw it out there. When I picked it up, I held it for a second. He's already on. Watch it. So we don't want a seagull to grab it. Yeah. Make sure he's gone. Okay. 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 She thinks it's a whiting, and it got off at the edge of the surf. That's okay. been here about three hours now and we're gonna be here at least another three four hours so we got three bluefish the pompano and two whiting and we've missed a couple of bluefish and the, the whiting on the bait rod so just an example when the surf's really rough and we got current, she switched to a spider weight as well. Now you can still catch fish. If there was seaweed or something, then it'd be a different story. But it looked like it was going to be a really bad day that first hour. The bluefish are still biting. It's just not real aggressive in those smaller ones. I love that Terramar rod. And I, I can cast those uh, FG knot leaders. That's an 80 pound, eight foot mono. That rod's only eight foot long, but it's got 10 guides on it. That thing can handle a lot of drag. And it, it's a powerful rod, but it's kind of soft and parabolic. So she should have a great time on a big shark with this okay I was up there cutting up the whiting for the bluefish she caught a bluefish on the fish bites I want you just to bring in. he probably seen it move that's our first bluefish on the fish bites we have caught everything on the fish bites except for the bluefish yeah. and maybe a jack we haven't caught okay Go put it in the pipe. You can let him go and throw him out there so the seagulls don't get him. So four bluefish, two whiting in the pompano. Her bait rod's getting some fish now. And perfect. I just cut that other one up. 
with the fillet knife in little pieces and we're gonna keep that one too and now we can start letting the whiting go it's one of those days when the bluefish knows that the GoPro's turned on it's about our fourth attempt to have her get a whole bluefish on film the whole thing and as soon as we get the GoPro the bluefish know it I put a bigger piece on that top hook they might have took that off I'm just gonna leave it there for a minute I'm going to turn the GoPro off and then uh, she'll get the bluefish. You got him? Okay, she thinks he got off. Well, I'm not switching them four-wheel hooks. I already got that rig out there. If anything, I might put bigger baits on and hope we can get a, a bigger shark on this. I, I think the baby sharks are out there messing with it. Okay, she's seen the sand fleas and ran down there and got them. Let's see. Just a little one. Let me see. <laughs> wow, those are tiny. Here, go rinse your hands. So it's kind of slowed down on the bait rod. So let's see what the little tiny sand fleas do. Well, I put some bigger pieces of whiting on there. And now they're all over it, but we can't hook them. I missed one a little while ago. Wind's still blowing about 10 mile an hour. We got about 30 minutes to high tide. We are gonna go fishing in two more days. And she caught a bunch of sand fleas. So I'm really confident about the next trip. The surf's supposed to be a little bit less and less wind. But you don't know till you get here. Last couple hours, we really haven't caught anything. But we've been getting bites and missing them, so there's a lot of action, and then she was catching a lot of sand fleas. We're gonna be leaving soon, so we didn't put any more fish bites on. She's fishing with straight sand fleas. And she's got a whiting. Wow, that's a good size one. Yep. All right, we're gonna yeah, we're gonna let him go. I'm not even gonna cut it up. I still got got some bait. Four. She did catch a whole bucket full of sand fleas. All right, yeah, let him go. We'll just keep fishing with the sand fleas. Well, we had our mystery fish messing with us again. I put the oversized pieces of whiting on it and they, they tear it up. They pick it up and drag it in. I put the little tiny pieces like this and they don't even want to touch it. It's not bluefish, I don't know what it is. So we've stayed about an extra hour today because of this, because I've been holding the rod a lot of time. I probably set the hook about five times and missed them. So I don't know what that is. Okay, we're packing it up and she gets another whiting. All right, she caught the whiting right as we're getting ready to leave. So I think that's five whiting, five bluefish, and the pompano. Might be four bluefish, I don't remember. And we missed a lot of fish. I probably missed at least six, seven. So, not a bad day, but a long day.